Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Immortalizer Revolvable Dripping Atomizer, which is made by this Filipino modder called Chief Vapors. Now I purchased mine off vaporsphere.com.au, which is spelled as V A P E R S P H E R E.com.au, and they go for 95 Aussie dollars. So I currently have mine set up with a 0.65 ohms single coil with cotton hair. So let's take a vape and talk about it. Now the immortalizer is made out of both stainless steel and aluminum. All the machine parts are made out of stainless steel. While this outer sleeve here is made out of aluminum, um, there is a clear anodization on the aluminum to actually prevent oxidization from happening um, on the sleeve. And if oxidization were to happen, um, this anodization would actually prevent the oxidization from coming into contact with your juice. Personally, um, I would have liked to have seen a better clear oxidization, uh, clear anodization on this guy. As if you were to look closely on the sleeve, I know my camera will not be able to pick this up. There's actually quite a fair bit of like blotches all over it, which can be a quite like a slight eyesore to some, especially if you like a really nice streamlined look on your mod. Now the sleeve is reverse threaded. Um, while the top cap is regular threaded and it comes with the Chief Vapors logo and a serial number if you guys are keen. The sleeve has two 1mm air holes on each opposing side and it kind of works as like a juice catchment area should you happen to like over drip into your atomizer. Now this in my opinion I thought the screws on this guy were actually really small as you have to use like a spectacle screw when you have to like recoil it and the recoiling process is actually really similar to like that of the K-Fun or the K-Fun light. As the ground screws are on opposing ends, to recoil it, simply like unscrew the protruded screws, while the recessed screws are for you to like remove and like re remove your ceramic base plate if you want to like replace it. Now, I like the ceramic base plate a lot as it actually helps to like enhance the overall flavor of your vape as somehow after like comparing this guy to like my other atomizers other dripping atomizers that i have the flavor of um the immortalizer is actually one of the better ones that i have in my arsenal so far um now the way the air hole of the airflow of this guy works is air is taken in through the two 1mm air holes and they actually pass through these um, air channels over here and they go up and underneath the ceramic base plate and up um, onto your coil through the air hole right at the center of the ceramic base plate so the lower your coil the tighter the air the the airflow while the higher your coil the more airflow you get personally I heard that there are like some people who have like drilled out their um, air hole at the bottom of the ceramic base plate but do you know that Chief Vapors actually came up with like the Cyclops ceramic base plate which actually has a bigger um, hole at the bottom of like the, the ceramic base so maybe consider buying one if you want to like drill out your, your base plate to loosen up the overall airflow of this. Now, from what I understand, there is a slight adjustable airflow concept of this guy in which you just simply um, thread on your sleeve to like your preferred um, looseness of the vape and use a top cap to hold the sleeve in place. Chief Vapor said that this would allow the airflow to range from about 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm. However, through personal experience, I found that with this method, the loosest draw that I get is more similar to that of a 2mm. If you want a 2.5mm draw, um, simply put on your top cap and screw it on. However, it would look rather 
ugly in my opinion as all the o-rings and all just get exposed but it vapes like a 2.5 in this method so what are like some aspects of this guy that i like especially in terms of like flavor i do not like the fact that you can't quite put much wick um into the immortalizer you may not have this problem if you're using silica or eco wool Half of you are using cotton ball or like cotton yarn, cotton hemp for example. It will be a bit hard to like put in much wick. As the moment you screw on your, your sleeve, you would find that just a wee bit of like wick onto like the top threading of like the top cap would cause your top cap to just like not screw on at all, which can be a pretty much a pain in the ass, which is why I have that little wick in my immortalizer. Also one thing to note is that it may be a bit tough for you to set up a dual coil setup on this guy due to like the lack of space um, in between the two opposing poles which is why I found the best way to set up a dual coil setup on this is to just simply use a dual stack wick of this guy. However, I found that Running ribbon wires on this is actually a breeze as Chief Faith has actually built this immortalizer with ribbon cantha on Y in, in mind. For those of you who do not know, Chief Faith was actually one of the guys who actually popularized ribbon cantha to like the Western market. And you can totally see that in the construction of this um, atomizer as the wire slots are elongated to fit um, ribbon can fell perfectly in it. So yeah, great atomizer if you like flavor. However, the draw of this guy is, personally, I think it's more similar to that of Genesis atomizers. And it may not be for one who actually likes lung hits, um, on your drippers especially. So yeah, check out the immortalizer if you guys are keen. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.